NPSNet, a multiplayer, three-dimensional virtual environment over the Internet. NPSNet is a large scale virtual environment. We can support about 200 to 300 players using Ethernet and T1 links. For the demonstration at the symposium, we're going to be showing you NPSNet playing across internet. It is the first three dimensional virtual environment that can actually play in a distributed fashion across the internet. NPSNet can simulate ground vehicles air vehicles, and humans walking through the network synthetic environment. The network protocol that we use is called the DIS protocol, the Distributed Interactive Simulation Protocol, which is a Department of Defense and IEEE standard. NPSNet is Silicon Graphics Iris-based. You can run it with uh, a single workstation with one monitor in front of you. You can have multi-channel option on an Onyx and have multiple displays. It runs in head-mounted display fashion. Input devices range from keyboards to space balls to flight sticks to fully instrumented uh, infantrymen. You can see here uh, a Kaiser Vim helmet, a fully instrumented upper body suit uh, designed by Sarcos Engineering of Salt Lake City, Utah. We've got an instrumented M16 and a force feedback pedal device. When he pedals this device through the virtual environment, he gets the feeling as if he is moving up or down the terrain depending on what the actual terrain is. We also have a three-walled rear projection environment we call the walk-in synthetic environment. You can see this soldier uh, in an engagement with another soldier. In fact, it's the other soldier you saw with the head-mounted display. Another person. We're going to scout out the building to the right. You two cover me while I move up to that destroyed vehicle to the left front. When I get there, you two move up to the vehicle on the right and cover me while I move to the building. Let's go. NPSNet has been demonstrated at a number of shows. Uh, what you see in this particular show is the Association for the United States Army Conference in Washington, D.C. in October of 94. We have a Special Operations Command soldier trying to clear a building. He can look out the windows and see the other soldiers involved in the engagement. He can fire out the window. Again, this is networked. Some of these other players are workstations with people on the workstation. Some of them are in the iPort device. We do medical corps and rescue training. Here he is resurrecting a downed soldier. The human figures in NPSNet are uh, manipulated using the University of Pennsylvania Jack software from Norm Badler's group. There are 76 degrees of freedom in the soldiers, and, it, and Jack is an embedded function of NPSNet 4.7J.